Okay, I'm pretty sure some of you out there have been wondering whatever happened to this guy? Is he ever going to finish this car? Well, yeah, so I'll get her done someday, but I've been busy on it and we'll give you a quick walk around here. Uh, pretty much almost got a rolling chassis here. Just a few things to work on. Uh, got some brake lines to hook up, uh, that kind of stuff, but just about ready to drop the engine and the transmission in here. And uh, anyway, I've done a lot of work to get the car up to this point, so uh, the rest of this video is going to show you how I got there. As you can see, as I'll slowly pan around here, I've got pieces, parts. Thanks to the good people at uh, Ground Control and Arizona Z Car, we've got a pretty decent suspension on this car now. Uh, for comparison, this is the old and this is the new. We'll take a wander around here. You can see that we've got swivel joints. Everything is adjustable. Kind of zoom in on stuff here. You can adjust the length of your control arm in and out. You can adjust your shock height. The shocks are adjustable conies. Much, much better than the old stuff. Moving on to the rear, we have the same thing. This is the old. This is the new. Let's see if I can get in here and show you what's going on with this. Need to uh, get some bushings for the, the sway bar yet, but uh, nice, nice mounting. Plus, like I said, everything is adjustable. Set, uh, set your toe real easy with this bolt here. Runs the pivots the arm back and forth. You can adjust this in and out. You can swivel this bar here up and down which will effectively move this in and out. Show a little more detail here. Not much in the engine compartment yet, but with the ground control set up, moving this back and forth on the slots, we can adjust the camber. This car was camber challenge before it won't be now zoom in a little bit right now everything is just kind of trial fitted to make sure it's all going to work together make it all fit and uh, we got a little work to do We're putting the hubs together uh, new bearings and stuff for the for the axles and those are on their way same with the front spindles, new bearings there. Well, since this part's a little short, uh, I thought I'd throw in a just a little brief tutorial on how I went about uh, mounting these ground control camber plates. So I don't have it in in movie form, but uh, we'll have some stills and we'll kind of work you through that. So. Here we go.
Okay, the object of today's lesson is to put new bushings in the rear differential mount, commonly known as the mustache bar. <clears throat> I got an energy suspension kit here, comes with all the components. But one thing I want to impress is to read the instructions first. Had I read the instructions, I would have realized that it says to reutilize this old sleeve. You heat it, heat it up and just pop the rubber out. Don't beat the sleeve out. So, after spending considerable time and effort knocking this thing out, this mustache bar is now useless to me. So, I had to look through my junk pile and I found another one, not quite in as good a shape cosmetically, but I'm pretty sure it'll clean up. And this time I'm going to follow the instructions and burn out the rubber and reuse the sleeve. And away we go. Okay, step one's done. I took it outside and uh, got the old oxygen acetylene torch on there. Got it real hot and once those things get kind of melted, they just push right out. Don't want to do it inside though, makes a real mess, smoke and all that stuff, you know. So, next step is to uh, get it in the uh, bead blaster and clean it up. And we'll be back. Yep, yeah, I'm going to put new bushings in the uh, transmission cross member mount also. Uh, I don't make the same mistake twice, or I should I say, rarely make the same mistake twice. So, this one you got to save the save the sleeve like in the mustache bar so I'm going to put it on the press and just press that bushing out I had this cross member hot tanked and it probably softened the rubber up enough that as you can see it just pushed right out so get the other one done and we'll get the new ones in there and good to go okay now we're going to put the uh, polyurethane links back in the transmission mount. Got it cleaned up, all nice and painted and everything. And you got three components. You got two bushings and a sleeve. And what we're going to do is take a little bit of this grease here. Uh, usually the it gets supplied with the with the bushing kit, and it's real sticky stuff. So we just get a little bit of grease and we coat the inside of the mount put it on there pretty good don't need it real heavy just a just a light coat in there and then a little light coat on the outside of the bushing and also on the inside light coat of grease there goes in on one end do the same thing with the other a little light coat of grease bushing and that goes in there just like that and then a little bit of light coat of grease on the pin collar, sleeve, whatever you want to call it. And that goes in like that. And it's going in pretty tight, so we're going to give it a little persuasion with the uh, with the channel locks here. Just to make life a little easier. And just squeeze it right in. And we're good to go brand new polyurethane bushings on the transmission mount. The mustache bar went together the same way, just a little bit bigger bushings and that's it.